got his health chili crisp. Hello, welcome back at Cora. Today I went to Fisherman's Life Street Fair and I got to meet Taku, Outdoor Chef Life, Jocelyn, and Fisherman's Life. And they're all super nice. For the life of me, I couldn't put together a sentence to sound like a normal human being when I was talking to them. We actually got to talk to Taku the most. I even got his kelp chili crisp. I wanna try to make something with it. I haven't made takoyaki in a while. I know takoyaki isn't typically with chili crisp on top of it, but I'm gonna mix it up a little. Sprinkle a little bit of this kelp chili crisp on top. All right, let's get started. It's a whole ass octopus. I'm just gonna use a few tentacles first. It's raw, so I'm gonna boil it for around 15 to 20 minutes and then cut these tentacles up into bite-sized pieces that we can put into the takoyaki and then we'll make the batter after. Oops. I'm gonna add some QP mayo and then the bonita flakes. Ooh, they're moving. Alex made this sauce and I'm not really sure what's in it. There is a combination of maggi sauce, soy sauce, sugar, ketchup, some sake, vinegar, and some fish sauce. Sake. I'm gonna drizzle it over. As you can see, they're kind of moving. Those are the flakes. Can't forget a chili crisp. I'm gonna put it over on a few of them and then leave it for the rest in case it gets a little too soggy. That's probably some kelp. Let's try this one. Cheers! Cheers! Oh. Mmm. Ooh, so hot. Wow, that chili crisp is really good. I've never had a kelp chili crisp, but I definitely would recommend it. A little bit spicy, not too bad. So it's really good with the takoyaki. And making this with real octopus is such a game changer. It's a giant chunk inside. I've been waiting to eat this. I'm very excited. All right, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you in the next meal. Good morning. We're gonna do a mung bean cold noodle dish today. I've been wanting to make this dish for a long time and I thought it'd be perfect to use the chili crisp. I got some mung bean powder and I'm gonna try to prepare it now and put it in the fridge so we can eat it later in the day. All right, let's do it. All you have to do is boil it with some water and let it sit aside in the fridge. So let's prepare it now. Cool. I have three knives. The other two longer ones are in the dishwasher, so we're gonna make do. I'm gonna use this to cut it in half. So far, so good. Oop, very uneven, but whatever. I got jelly noodles like this. It actually is super jiggly. For the final touch, chili crisp. I'm gonna put two big spoons. All right, I got Alex here to taste test with me. Guinea pig, first time making this. It looks very tasty. You <laughs> hear it too. <laughs> you also hear a dishwasher. Sorry for that. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, che oh. oh, it slipped. Cheers. Too. Oh, it's so legit. Restaurants use a lot more chili oil, which is why every time I eat it, I start sweating. So I think this is the appropriate spice for me. Very good. All right, I'll see you at the next meal. Not sure we're gonna make yet with this chili crisp. I feel like there's a lot of ways to use it. I'll see you at the next taste test. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. <laughs> it's a little gloomy today in SF, so I think the perfect dish, congee. I'm gonna make a classic preserved egg congee with some pork. And then obviously sprinkle some kelp chili oil on top. Let's do it. Alex is preparing the pork.
Good. It's got a really good kick from that kelp chili oil. Uh, I think this hits the spot. Who cut these pork strips? They're so finely and nicely cut. We got some fish cake that we bought and then we just fried mm. them back up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I really liked using the kelp chili oil, so definitely we'll be using that in other dishes. With that, I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey. <laughs>